Well, today we're going to continue our study in the book of Ephesians. We're on Ephesians chapter 1, verse 2, which says, Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I love the way Paul talks about this because Paul is speaking on behalf of God our Father. He's speaking on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's saying, the Lord wants me to tell you grace to you. The Lord wants me to tell you peace to you. Our Father wants me to tell you grace to you and peace to you. So often when it comes to God, we, se- we tend to see God as not a God speaking grace to us and speaking peace to us. But we see him as a God who's angry at us, mad at us, disgusted with us, disappointed with us. A God that we can't just quite seem to please. But what God is, is saying through Paul here is, is he says, I want you to understand my grace. I want you to understand my peace. I, when I think about grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, I think about a lady in the book of uh, Luke, Luke chapter 7, verses 36 through 50. And it's a lady who was filled with incredible guilt and incredible shame. Um, She had had a horrible life, a terrible life. She had lived a very sinful life in her town and her community. Everybody knew that she was a very sinful woman. So wherever she would walk and wherever she would go, eyes of rejection would be upon her, eyes of condemnation would be be upon her. People would point her out and and talk about her, especially the religious crowd, the Pharisees. uh, They hated her. They couldn't stand her because of her sin. But this woman was feeling so much guilt, and she had heard about the grace that's in Jesus Christ. And one day, Jesus was at a Pharisee's house. The Pharisee had invited Jesus over, not because he wanted to get to know him better, but simply because he, he wanted to get to know more about this guy who talked about grace. And he really had a, he despised Jesus for grace. And so God in his sovereignty moved a lady who was full of guilt, who needed grace, to go into the Pharisee's house where Jesus was. It's really interesting that in the house of the Pharisee was the one who hated the woman the most and the one who loved her the most. The Pharisees literally hated this woman because of her sin. And Jesus loved the woman, even though she had sinned greatly. And the woman comes to Jesus, and she's crying, and she's weeping. She can't even look at him in his face. She can't even can stand up. She, she bows down and kneels down before him, behind him, head bowed low, crying and weeping in guilt and shame. And Jesus turns, and he pours grace out on her. He pours the unconditional love of our Father out on her. He pours the un- unmerited kindness of the Father out on this woman, and he pours the, un- pours the unlimited forgiveness of God out upon her as well. This grace that was poured out upon her totally changed her life, and the Pharisees hated Jesus even more because of the grace. You can read about it and look at the, 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 the anger in the Pharisee toward Jesus pouring grace upon this woman. And as the woman got ready to leave, Jesus said these words to her. He said, Go in peace. Your faith has saved you. Your sins are forgiven. He said it in this order. Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The woman placed her faith in the grace that was poured out upon her by Jesus. The grace of unmerited kindness, unlimited forgiveness, and unconditional love. The woman believed that she was a forgiven person. She believed that God was no longer angry or not mad at her or frustrated with her and her sin. She believed she was forgiven and she was able to go in peace. Going in peace means that she was able to walk now with her head high because she was loved by God our Father, forgiven by God our Father, accepted by God our Father. She didn't have to live in shame and guilt and condemnation anymore, but she could live in the freedom of forgiveness, knowing she was a dearly loved child of God the Father, and therefore she can go in peace. And I want you to know that too. Today you can go in peace. God would say to you today, grace to you and peace to you, And with that grace and peace coming to you, you can know your sins are forgiven. You can know you're loved and you're no longer condemned by God. You're not judged by God because of sins. Your sins were judged at the cross as guilty. And grace came upon you and you're now forgiven. So today you can go in peace. No more living in guilt. No more living in shame. No more living in self-condemnation. No more living in fear of God's judgment. But you can know You can go in peace today because you can hear God saying to you, my grace to you, my peace to you. I love you. I've forgiven you. I accept you. Have a good day.